Grand Hotel was well prepared for the sudden or present attack during his stay in here. At 2.30 of June 18, President Eisenhower, accompanied by General Tan Manchi, Chief of General Staff, went to Yuan San for laying a wreath in the Mother's Shrine. At 3 o'clock in the afternoon, President Eisenhower went to the presidential residence and made the first historic conversation with President Young for discussing the international situation and the problem concerning the two countries. The conversation finished at 5 o'clock. President Eisenhower, accompanied by President and Madame Jiang, went to Presidential Plaza to receive the greetings of the half million people there. In an introduction speech, President Jiang said, President Eisenhower's visit to China is a great thing in history and is largely increased the close cooperation for the fight against the international aggression of the communists of the two countries. Thank you very much. Mr. President, distinguished guests and friends, I address this gathering today fully aware of the honor you have bestowed on my country and myself. In his address, President Eisenhower made a pledge of non-recognition of the political Philippine regime and guaranteed that the United States is supporting the Republic of China as the honor delegate in the United Nations, Mr. Eisenhower emphasized that we should not lose the struggle for our freedom and security with the political communists. Sir, for every one of you is deep and lasting. So from your president to the humble citizens of the land, I say thank you very much and God be with you. The welcome meeting was ended at 5.30 among the greetings and the cheerings of the people.